Hi, I'm Gavin, and these are the Coffee Conspiracies. This is the second episode of my field trip to Hull, 2017's UK city of culture, and once the centre of the UK's fishing and agricultural imports industry. This is a region that has struggled over the last 50 years, and as you can see from the overview here, average salaries are below the national median, employment levels are a good 7% below the national average, and even business efficiency is low. While I continued to enjoy the best that international squash has to offer, Hull's retail sector is struggling. Empty shops are visible everywhere, and even in the sparkly shopping centres plonked in the centre of town. Looking on our Pikaia map, you can see the extent of the problem, with distinct clustering of retail vacancies, which always makes it more difficult to bring areas back to life. Overall vacancies at 9.1% are far higher than the UK average of 8%, with the majority of those vacancies clustered in the city centre. However, as I mentioned in the last episode, things are a bit strange. Take a look at that retail profit margin. 7.5% is much higher than I'd expect, which implies a tighter market than all those vacancies imply. My gut feel is that a large number of these vacancies are in the wrong place from where economic activity is starting to thrive. Your choice will be to pay the higher rents to get inside those growing hubs, or take a risk on being slightly outside in the hopes of benefiting should that community expand. As an example, Friday night we ended up at Ambient, a tremendously modern and authentic tapas restaurant which has a few branches in cities nearby. This is in the new fruit market development, and the crowd were a mix of the sorts of urban professionals you see in any vibey part of town. Saturday, we walked to every restaurant in the area. Every single one was full. Chatting with the manager of Butler White's just next door, he said that they're permanently booked out two weeks ahead for every weekend. In Hull. Even Nando's and Pizza Express had a several hour waiting list to get in. I don't queue for Nando's. This is Hull. Part of the problem seems to be that there are very few restaurants, and my feeling is the market can stand a few more. Looking at the averages, as you can see here, profit margins are quite high for the industry. There are some lovely empty properties available, locations with lots of modern glass in trendy areas with nice neighbours. I chose this one to inspect instead. This is 4 Ann Street near the centre of town. Your neighbours are a building site, a building facade, a derelict nightclub, and a pub so violent the blood was still on the road outside from the night before. It's £10,000 a year for 90 square metres, it's double its rated value and 25% above the average for the area. I think you might be able to get the landlord to let you have it for less since it's been vacant for quite a while. There's not a lot of passing pedestrian traffic, but if you're open during the day, you probably won't experience the more esoteric nightlife. It's a relatively small site with only five people needed to run it, and break even at just short of £600,000 isn't terrifying. You could, as usual, get that down if you run it with friends and family. It's a quirky building, so you might want to go wild on something creative. That said, the rent would have to come down substantially before I can wholeheartedly recommend it. It's right outside a shopping mall, and you'd have to be something special to attract people there. And if you were that special, there are much nicer places near the marina where you'd have more success, such as the various opportunities around the emerging food hub of the fruit market. I definitely think Hull is a great place to start a restaurant or coffee shop, but there are still sites such as this one where you should be extremely careful before signing a lease. Thanks for watching. Now let's go get some coffee.